Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and today I'm going to be talking about Bleed Them Dry, a new comic from Vault. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups. Today I'm giving an advance review of Bleed Them Dry number one, a new comic book coming from Vault Comics, June 24th of this year. So just, just at the end of the month. Fantastic book. Really excited about this. This is a cyberpunk vampire ninja story. End of review. That's all I need to tell you, really, to get you really pumped up for this. But I'll tell you a little bit more. It's created by Hiroshi um, Koizumi, and it's got writing by Elliot Rahal, artwork by D.K. Ruan, um, coloring by Miguel Miuerto, and And World Design on the lettering, and, of course, Tim Daniel on the design work, and the editor, of course, Adrian Wazel. It's Vault Comics. So there you go. It's Vault Comics. It's a sci-fi, cyberpunk, vampire... Um, murder mystery type thing. I absolutely loved it. Let me tell you this. Elliot Rahal is quickly becoming one of my favorite writers. He's got fantastic work out there. Hot Lunch Special, the cult classic books, both Return to Whisper and Creature Feature. Exceptional stuff. Midnight Vista from Aftershock. Let me tell you something. Elliot is about to be assumed to be powerhouse in the industry. He's an absolute fantastic writer, and his writing on this one is absolutely fantastic. The story centers, um, first of all, it's futuristic. It's set in 3333, and they built this, like, new, like, mega city, right? It's very much uh, influenced by, like, Japanese um, modern architecture, but kind of forecast out into the future. And out in the future, vampires live alongside humans and even maybe comprise most of the ruling class, right? And everything's hunky-dory. Everything's fine. And then one day, there's a murder, right? A murder of an immortal, a murder of a vampire. And it causes all kinds of controversy. And then you got these couple police detectives, their partners, one's human, one's a vampire, and they get embroiled in this conspiracy that over the course of the series, it seems, is going to unravel and reveal itself. I've had the luxury of reading the first two issues of this series so far, and it is slam-bang fantastic. The first issue does exactly what it's supposed to do. It sets up the world very, very quickly, gets um, the mystery going, and then leaves you with a giant hook wanting you to come back. And when you come back in issue number two, ha ha ha, let me tell you, you ain't seen nothing yet. This book's amazing. D.K. Ruan's artwork is got a very much a, a big sense of energy to it, right? The book is cyberpunk, and it needs to have some really lavish um, cityscapes. It's got to have a lot of action in it because it involves vampires and ninjas. So it's got to have a sense of horror. It's got to have a sense of movement and energetic flow appropriate for an action book. And Ruan completely captures that in this book. Um, Miguel Muerto's colors, wow, one of the spotlights of the book. If not, if the line work and the story wasn't cool enough, right? Um, the coloring is amazing. It's brilliant. It's It paints these worlds in such an amazing way, whether it's the bright, shiny, futuristic cityscapes that just, you could spend hours looking at the rich and many colors and layers of, of those scenes. And then you get to some of the more personal stuff, some of the darker, shadowy, noirish type stuff, and it's colorings right there. And world design, the lettering really captures the pace and flow of the book excellently well. Vault Comics, for the most part, just doesn't make comic books that I don't like right? And this one, based on concept alone, I was already super sold on, but now that I've read the first two issues, I'm even more sold on it, so much to the point where I'm telling you, you're gonna love this book. If you like vampire fiction, if you like action vampire, sci-fi type stuff, if you love, like, the Blade movie, if you love stuff like that, if you love ninjas, if you love, um, Japanese culture and manga influence in American comics, you gotta check this book out. It was... It was fire. I loved it. I loved it so much. I Vault has continued to release great product after great product. But this, I haven't been this excited for Vault. And trust me, I'm excited every single release. And I think every single release is super top-notch and solid. But right now, 
Holy cow, Bleed Them Dry was awesome. I think a lot of people are going to like this book and respond to it very positively. It's got a great cover. It's got a great concept. Cyberpunk Vampire Ninjas. <laughs> it's awesome. I loved it. If you love the Blade, like I do, like that Blade movie, you know I love that Blade movie. You, you gotta watch, you gotta check out this book. You're gonna love it. Comes out June 24th from Vault Comics. Get those pre-orders in right now and guarantee yourself a copy. There'll be a couple of variant covers, even more probably scattered throughout certain exclusives and things like that. I loved this book so much, so much. Um, and also the characters. The characters are really stand out. I was talking about the concept and the artwork, but the characters themselves really do stand out. And that's another great thing that Elliot does in this book. Anyway, that's what I thought. Bleed Them Dry, number one, June 24th from Vault Comics. Y'all, get in on this right now. You're gonna love it. It's amazing. Action-packed, um, lots of energy, great murder mystery, and cool futuristic cyberpunk setting. I absolutely love this book. Wow. Wow. And just wait till you guys read issue number two. Holy cow. Anyway, that's what I thought about it. Get ready. It's coming. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Let me know how excited you are for Elliot Rahal's and Vault Comics is uh, Bleed Them Dry. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Also, just pre-order it. It's awesome. Anyway, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups. Thanks for rocking with us. Keep on bleeding them dry.